How's everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning in to the channel. We're playing The Hunter Call of the Wild and we are hunting some Mexican bobcats. We're going to talk about some loadouts, some locations, drink times, and I will also share with you my favorite location. Let's take a look at some early morning action. So we got a Mexican bobcat. The Mac level was nine, so you're looking for a legendary. Not this guy, he's only mythical. So they are a class three animal so the weapons are 223 243 7.62 is which i'm using now and you can see it is lagging a little bit which has been the case on some of these lakes in rancho but hopefully by the weekend i'll get a comparison when the new xbox 10 arrives So we've got several lakes on the map. They're mostly located on the west side of the map. Let's take a look at the loadout. As you can see, I'm using the 1890, the 7.62 round. And I do have the Predator Jack Rabbit Caller. I got my night vision binoculars and also carry my regular daytime binoculars. So that's about all you need to hunt the old Mexican Bobcat. So let's take a look at one of my favorite locations. The first few times I came to this lake, I mean, it was just loaded down with Mexican bobcats. I mean, I haven't even set up tripods. I was just taking them down left and right. It was just crazy. And it's still consistently a great lake for Mexican bobcats. There we go. Take him down just like that. No tracking that guy. So I have taken several blue Mexican bobcats, which is a very cool looking color. I mean, I have not taken a melanistic yet, but the blue I think so far is my favorite looking bobcat. So we're going to go over some locations and I'll show you a brief little hunt at each spot. You can see where my tents and tripods are. I have moved around some of my tripods. And I will say that the Mexican bobcat and the collared peccary also drink at some of the same lakes. And so you can kind of use those tents and tripods to hunt both of them. That is why we see the map. Take a shot on this guy right here. Boom, right before we cross on that rock. But yeah, overall, I've noticed on Rancho, there's so many animals drinking at some of these lakes that my little drink zone icon constantly changes back and forth. So I know there's collar peccaries drinking here, and I know there's Mexican bobcats, but when I look at the map, it might say one or the other, because it's always changing every time I spot one or click on some tracks. So they do respond to the old jackrabbit call. So that's great, so that'll bring them in a little bit closer. I mean, most of the time, I'm not looking to bring them in real close. But sometimes I know they're there, I can hear them, or I can see them barely sticking out behind a tree. So you get the old jackrabbit call out, you blow that thing a couple of times, and when they walk out, you take your shot. And they really did a great job, the developers. I mean, they look awesome. I mean, their fur type, their eyes, you got the cat-like eyes. I mean, they're pretty animal. So I have taken two dom well, can't say two diamonds. I got two level nine Mexican bobcats. One's a diamond and one is not because I messed up the shot. So let's take a look at another great location. So I don't have any tripods set up down here anymore. So I did move on to hunt some other animals, but I came back and I noticed some max level tracks. So I'm tracking down, hopefully trying to find another diamond. So we have some bighorn sheep drink zones and I have a couple of Mexican bobcat drink zones. So I always forget about this little place right along the coast on the south side of the map. But it does have a couple of nice drink zones and there's always some nice male Mexican bobcats down here. So we'll take a quick shot on this one. And what's up with the little turny, twisty thing they're always doing? Makes it so hard to shoot them. So what I normally do is I just kind of judge where they're going to turn. 
focus on that spot and wait for them to do the little twisty thing and squeeze the old trigger right when they get into that spot. So I'm going to quickly show you some other locations where they do drink between 4, 4.30 and 7 and a lot of times I won't hunt them too much at night. I kind of prefer to wait until just when the sun's coming up to start my hunt. So this is one of my favorite locations. And what do we have here? The old Mexican bobcats. She's frozen up. She glitched out. But we'll play with her a little bit. But they really did a great job on her fur. You can see the eyes. I mean, pretty spectacular little bobcat. And so drop a comment below. Let me know what you do when the animals freeze up like this. So you just blow them away. Well, we're back at the little spot down here. I'm sneaking up. I can hear some calls coming from this location. So I want to get in real close, real slow. Creep up on them and see what we have. I did spot some vegetation and it said blue. So we're going to hopefully track one down right now. So blue is probably definitely my favorite color. And if I do grind out some more Mexican bobcats, I love to get a blue diamond for the trophy lodge. And there he is. Not a real big one, but it's just a level six. But we'll take him down anyway. And once again... Little twisty movements. And they like to rock side and side. And I'm not sure if real life Mexican bobcats do that. May have to Google that later on today. But we'll put this one in the trophilage. I'm pretty sure I have another one already. But not much difference in the trophilage from a gold level 6 or a gold level 7. But we'll take a look at some more locations. Here's another great location. It does have a good amount of Mexican bobcats, but I do have some problems with lag on some of these lakes, especially that top lake on the left where I just showed you. At nighttime, when I'm hunting the collards, it lags so much on Xbox. But when I go back during the day to hunt the Mexican bobcats, I don't have a problem. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that, but. Hopefully the new Xbox 10 will fix that issue. You can take a look where I'm at right here. There's some Mexican bobcats drinking. So I did have some lag on this side of the lake. And I'm not really sure if it's my Xbox One or just the Rancho map itself. Because I know a lot of people have complained about it. But... What I have noticed is when I fast traveled after I shot these guys to the other side of the lake to pick them up, the lag stopped. But I will have a map and I've circled all the lakes on the map where I hunt the Mexican bobcats and I'll show you that at the end of the video. I'll show you the couple of Mexican bobcats that I have in the trophy lodge. But I really do like this little top corner of the lake. And I have a tent on one side and you have the outposts on the other side. So I can use them to kind of fast travel back and forth to pick up the Mexican bobcats after I shoot them. Because the wind is a factor at some of these lakes. So I do find it's fairly easy to sneak up on the Mexican bobcats. They will smell you or scent if it's blowing in that direction so I always try to make sure I'm not walking in the same direction as the winds traveling my scent so say I have the sense going off to my right on this location right here so I'm pretty safe to get close but I am fairly comfortable at taking some long range shots and they're not a big animal so their target area is pretty small but there's the old 1890 you can take them down pretty easily well let's take a look Here's my first diamond that I got in the Rancho map with this little Mexican Bobcat 28.6. Then I have my one other one over here that should have been a diamond, but it's not. It was a little bit smaller. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. But until then, happy hunting.